the state of siege in California, the death toll growing. Four firefighters, a grandmother, two great grandchildren among the victims. Tonight, three major wildfires burning, but there are many more from one end of the state to the other. The largest, the car fire in the north, drawing fire departments from hundreds of miles away. The devastation, not just from the flames, but from powerful winds the fire creates. Trees flatten. You can see it looks like a tornado blew right through. Tonight, entire neighborhoods are now gone. More than 800 homes destroyed in the car fire alone. This evening, the grandfather who lost his wife and great grandchildren and those four firefighters on the front lines in two separate fires when the flames engulfed them. ABC's Kena Whitworth from California tonight. Tonight, with more than 12,000 firefighters battling nine large fires in California alone, the biggest one, the car fire, scorching 150 square miles. This, as we're seeing new images showing that tornado of fire from the air growing explosively late Thursday afternoon, eating its way through entire communities. Gridlock on the roads, evacuees racing to get out. I mean, everybody was three by three on this road gridlocked. Tonight, a break in the wind and some relief for evacuated families who have the chance to see what's left. To see it now like this. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty difficult. Among them, Reading Police Chief Roger Moore, taking us to his home of 19 years, now unrecognizable. Your kids lived their entire lives in this house. It's, that part's tough. I haven't really let that digest in yet. Nearly 3,500 firefighters working around the clock in blazing heat, building control lines and putting out hot spots. Residents, too. They just put out this fire down here with their garden hoses, and it's already sparked back up, so now he's going back. Look, there's a helicopter coming in right here. The blaze claiming at least six lives, among them 70-year-old Melody Bledsoe and her two great-grandchildren, five-year-old James and four-year-old Emily. Call and said, Grandpa, you need to come. The fire's coming at our house now. Ed Bledsoe says he raced to get back but couldn't. Their bodies later discovered inside their Reading home. Seven others remain missing. And at the Ferguson fire near Yosemite National Park, Captain Brian Hughes of the Arrowhead Hotshots was killed by a falling tree Sunday. Brian was one of the best. Uh, he was a pillar of strength for that hotshot crew. He's now the fourth firefighter killed in the line of duty in the last two weeks. And Kena with us live tonight. Just incredible destruction there behind you, Kena. Some people got a chance to go back today, but as you reported in earlier, many of them, uh, there's nothing to go back to. I know, David, nearly a thousand structures destroyed and homes just like this one. Look, this home had a tile roof, but there was no stopping this fire. These big, destructive wildfires are now the new normal. Firefighters say it's basically everyone's worst nightmare. And we haven't even hit peak fire season yet here in California. David? Yeah, that's the unbelievable part of all this. Kena Whitworth leading us off tonight. Thank you. Let's get right to meteorologist Rob Marciano as we begin another week. The focus on the winds, a little less erratic now, but the triple digit heat. Yeah, it's all about the heat. This isn't a Santa Ana wind event. It's not driven by big scale winds, it's driven by that heat, which is going to persist for a little bit longer, although the heat ridge itself is shifting a little bit to the east, so that'll help California touch, but it's driving the big heat into the Pacific Northwest. And I can tell you from being there, air quality extremely poor, even away from the fires, a lot of smoke. Tomorrow's temperature similar to today 90s 100s get a little bit of a Pacific push midweek so temperatures cooling by three four maybe five degrees it's not much David but we'll take any cooling we can get at this point all right Rob Marciano just back from California tonight thank you Rob hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching